gonna be nice. But for now, it's just kind of fun to explore the world and see what you can do. Different classes exist. Um, not really different classes. You've got you've got different characters that all have different attributes that work really well for certain weapons. But theoretically, everybody can be be a mage and use spells and whatnots. It's just that uh, this character that we're using now, Jonna, she she has a special attribute that she um, gets more magical power. If you look at this, um, her bio, she gives. Where is it? Where does it show up? It shows up somewhere. I keep the yeah, arcane lore. Each land spell grants two percent magic power. The others don't have that. The other characters, but you can still teach the other characters magic. Yeah, there's different weapons. There is uh, magic, there are bows, there are short swords, and there's sword and board, so shield and, and uh, sword. There are great swords. Um, there's daggers. So there's there's a lot of different things that you can do if you want to. But you're not limited to one class. You can also have uh, two different weapon loadouts on a character, and you can just switch in between them. But to be fair, magic is stupidly strong and OP right now. <laughs> Which is why this character is so much easier to play than the greatsword uh, person that we had on uh, Saturday. Yeah, it's it's kind of, you know, it's in the style. It reminds me of, like the style reminds me a lot of Graveyard Keeper, to be honest. But I think it's a nice style. I like it. I like it. And the game's fun. And it's not very expensive. Obviously, early access. So there's always the, you know, the danger that it's never going to get fi uh, uh, finished. But yeah. Do you have to choose a class that likes grammar? Or you have to spec into those classes? You spec into the classes. You, act you actually have to read books uh, to unlock the skills. And then you spend skill points to um, acquire the skill, basically. And certain characters give you certain bonuses for certain like weapons but you're not definitely not restricted to using uh, those uh characters with these things um which is really nice i think books yes you have to read books you either find them or you uh buy them from that person at the other book vendor and they have shifting ever shifting inventory so it's their books are not always there i'm still looking for um pyromancy 3 book actually uh i was gonna tell you this that 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 and that and now we made a lot of money again he does have books on him yeah uh what are you selling these things uh there's mm, you just don't pay much for those but we have to go up to the um to the carpenter for the staffs there we go let's check real quick because i didn't actually check his inventory i just sold pyromantic treaties number three which is 1600 which is a lot but there we go we read it get magma rain incineration and safe distance and then we sell it back obviously not for the same amount you only sell it back for a lot less but uh there we go that's good oh yeah we still got our healing potion now because i didn't use it this t this time around nice that's actually really good we have the alcohol still have the undefend axe and the cursed staff there's the dude what are you selling there you go buy that um where was the oh yeah you were over here this really doesn't look like the house of the elder. I keep looking for a big house like in uh, Osbrook. So you can totally have like what we had on Saturday was a great sword wielding, wielding lady knight that also did fire spells. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. I'm here for the reward. Storing reward has been fulfilled. I know you wouldn't let me down. Here's your well-deserved reward. Yes, give me my money. Are there any more contracts? 
We've only got one open bounty at the moment, the Bandit's Den. This contract is pretty simple. There are old ruins near a village, Castle Danbane. It's often, uh, it often attracts unscrupulous types. The moment our guards smoke out one bear, the next one settles in. Now, we're, Right now, the force is in the hands of Eber the Bladeproof, a rare bastard, well deserving of a noose. We don't have enough men to clear out and hold these ruins, so I have to rely on mercenaries like you. The tasks are simple. Get inside, slay the leader, and the rest shall flee. Are you up to it? Yes. Awesome. This is unfortunately like the last quest that's in the game currently, but that's okay. We've done quite a bit now. We're kind of speed running a little bit through the content. Also, oh my god, like Lunt, you broke my dashboard. Look at what you did. Look at what you did to my dashboard. Okay, this is ridiculous. You broke my dashboard because <laughs> somehow every time every time one person does an emote in a resub message uh, in my in my notice there in the activity feed it starts a new line it's really weird is there a roadmap or projected release date um i believe there is a roadmap but uh no projected release date so far is risk of rain 2 any good um it is a really good game chroma but for me the art style is hard to look at for extended amounts of time but the game like if you and uh, have you ever played risk of rain one because it's it's good it's a good it's a good rogue like rogue light rogue light but uh i find the up 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 till we hit the right and then left okay um i find it hard to look at for extended amounts of times even though i have it um there is something about the choice of colors that doesn't quite do it for me i wish rather than going 3d they had stayed uh, 2d with risk of rain 2 but alas that's how it is they didn't Hop, 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 hop. Oh, tea. Tea is so good. I like tea. And then more. More tea. Now my tea, my tea cup, my tea pot is empty. Sad tea pot. This should be the road. Use the Konami code. Maybe it does something. <laughs> um, this game starts to scare me. Literally everybody who follows is playing it. Yes yes it's fun it's fun and the thing is want to know want to know a secret why everybody is playing it right now it does really really well for viewership gugnir <laughs> it does really really well for viewership <laughs> uh so yeah that's uh oh that's why and uh it, it does well Ooh, look at that nice it does well for viewership and and follow follow numbers so thanks everybody that's new here and hanging out i really appreciate it thank you for giving my channel a chance <laughs> it is indeed very much appreciated uh so we are currently here yes but i'm also really enjoying it um but i i, I expected to um kind of peter out this week gugnir because most people will have gone through the content at least once if not twice hey silver cats have a good lurk ambush of course ambushing the fire mage in the rain again are you supposed to get your rim world fix <laughs> it, i mean i mean i mean the hot potato is on not right now but i mean the hot potato is going uh this time on rimworld day is higher yes moth hunter but as much as i love rimworld it is also nice to just play other games and and uh we had like almost 300 people on friday playing this game obviously because more people have picked it up now numbers are a little bit more distributed especially because like kiri and trick <laughs> And a lot of other people that I know are playing this game right now. Ow, you knocked me back into the fire. 
but uh, it's just good for uh, you know to do diversity. Diversity is good. Whoa, nice there. Rimworld is better than all. Ye yes and no. Um, Rimworld is a great game. Also, hi Hattie. Lovely to see you. It is a great game. Um, but it it does have its uh, limitations um for growth as a content creator on twitch yeah hey krispy kreme lovely to see you they're out of the games yes as, and as i said like right now the fact that um kiri and trick are playing it too which is totally fine i mean you know gives people more variety and see different builds and whatnot um but that obviously um makes the viewer numbers a little bit more um spread out but yeah as i said friday we had like ridiculous amounts and we all did like blind got something like 70 followers playing this game on friday which is at our size a ridiculous amount so yeah that that's why that's why you see it everywhere oh god we're gonna die we're gonna die yeah, we're actually going to die. Wow, that's the first. That's going to be the first death of the day, I think. Uh, unless, no, wait. But wait, there is a healing potion. Ha ha! Take that. You thought I was dead, but actually, actually, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, have you gotten your totally not Rimworlds? I mean, there are always times where I play Rimworld more than others. How much is this game? So this game is, I think like 15 dollars 15 euros 10 pounds something is the base price but it launched with a 10 percent off code uh and if you own darkest dungeon you will have a 15 percent off coupon in your steam inventory that gets applied on top of those 10 percent so you get 10 percent off and then of that price you get another 15 percent off so yeah you haven't paid remote in a couple of months I played Roomworld this morning because we're also playing hint hint nudge nudge wink wink Roomworld on the YouTube channel so be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel because we are currently have an active Roomworld series over there as well where we're playing with a saver ship mod and other fun mods uh, is the new video up no tonight moth hunter tonight the new uh, Rimworld save our ship is going up tonight. Ringleader has been spotted. All right, come on, jump. Pew 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 pew. If if somebody could do exclamation point YT, that would be great right now. Because all tabbing is a bit of a problem right now. Still, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, everybody subscribe. Do it, do it. Pew pew pew. Right, gotta get this ling, re, ling reader. The ling reader debt. Why T? You know why we need TQ compare. How is that even a question? Here comes the loot. Nope. No, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling here in my fire. Because I like fire. I'm just gonna hang out. So, let's leave Twitch and watch me on YouTube. <laughs> uh, when I'm not streaming. Yes. Yes, Gugnir. Just have me on all the time. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's just what you do. This rain is really not helping my my fire mage skills. <laughs> do both at the same time. Yes, correct. But don't worry, we'll do we'll do more rim world. We'll also do more temtem. Um, we're also gonna be doing. Uh, some dogs back this week because that's coming out this week on the 14th on Valentine's Day we're gonna play uh, table manners uh, which is a really funny um, hand physics sim dating game that I played at twitchcom which is coming out on the 14th Ooh, a warhammer uh, so yeah you do not own darkest dungeon oh surprise well clearly you have to buy darkest dungeon as well you play river currently after several months and getting your ass wrecked so many lost limbs yeah but see even yeah see even see even you magical hattie that does all the 
all the amazing mods for RimWorld. Even you took some time off, so there's that. Hi. Hi. Okay, you're just chilling. Hello. Good day. You're super bad at RimWorld. <laughs> Enemy. Still out of range. God damn it. Stop struggling. You stop struggling. My fire skills are so weak now. This is so sad. Was your players come from modding? Mm. Kill them. Yes, I agree. Kill you. There you go. And then take that. Beg for mercy. I don't think they can beg. I think they're dead. Ooh. Why are there like people like strung up? Can I boop her? Boop on the snoot. Oh, she's like really sleepy. She's like really, really, really asleep. If I can boop her like that. Yeah. Yeah, she's doing that, that thing where cats... Cats sometimes sleep so hard, the earth could like just explode around them. But they just do that sometimes. It's crazy. Rimworld story time. You also lost half your colony in your current run after dealing with the poison ship. After that, a space battle occurred above your colony and had to hide in a mountain until it finished. That space battle really took out your colony. Wait, a space battle? So, like, lots of ship crashes or whatever? Uh, and then if I fully awake five minutes la five seconds later? Yeah. So, is there, like, lots of debris falling down? Because I don't think I've ever heard of that mod. That sounds interesting. Color me intrigued. Okay, what is with my hands? Wounded. I mean, we, we could just wait. I'm just gonna wait. That's gonna heal up. Ah, uh, vanilla events expanded. Gotcha. All right. Whilst once we once we uh, while we're healing up, I'm gonna quickly get up and turn my heating off. I'll be right back. Just enjoy watching our character heal up. There we go. And back. Still hungry. My arm still is not healed up. That's crazy. Uh, eat. Drink. Uh, how are we doing now? Wounded stabilized. Okay, we'll be fine then. Pine cap for the noms. Oh, there are so many more. You you can splint and do medicine, but you don't actually have to. Uh, if you just wait, it'll go away as well. But it takes a lot longer. What's for dinner? We're having ramen. We're eating ramen today because I don't feel like doing super duper much cooking. Oh, but correct bad spot. Oh, but. Holy crap, how strong are you? Very dangerous, I see. You're very, very frightening. Okay, I need to get out of here. But there's fire. I don't want to walk through the fire. Because that's going to burn me. Oh, this sucks. Please miss. Fuck. All right, I'm going to heal cuz ow. Ow, ow. No, why are you going the other way? Oh, were you confused because of your head? Yeah, you were. Okay, you keep missing. That's good. Okay, you're on fire now. Lovely. And then do that again. Pew, 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 pew. <sighs> okay, that one missed. Can I hit the both of you? Ah, shoot. Can't. I can't do the explodey wordy next to him. I could do it here. That was actually really good. Okay. Um. 
there a way I can heal up now? Yes. We'll apply healing south again. <laughs> Good. Um, I can't do that on you. So we'll set you on fire. Wait. Hop. Hop. I need to get my energy back. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, keep moving. Ha! Ha, indeed. These were strong, holy moly. I mean, it did say these were strong, but still. How much health do we have? 61 health left. Jesus. Oh, yeah, see, and then he spawned right next to me. How annoying. But, ha ha. All right, ha, indeed. The archer didn't spawn on us. Are they thrombo, thrombo strong? No, not quite. Haha. -ha. That's good though. 53 health still left. Eat this bastard. Oh, we're not doing so well. Yeah, there was that's death number one today. Wow. It took us five and a half hours to actually die. That's, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. Potion? Already used the potion. I had already used the potion in an earlier fight. Yeah. I think I'll save up the potion for that fight now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Oh, wait. Do I need to get more food? I do need to get more food. I'm not on permadeath. No, no, goodness, no. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not on permadeath. Though, to be fair, with a mage, I'd be actually okay with a permadeath. But no, after, after getting wrecked on Saturday by bears just spawning right next to me when you enter a tile and stuff like that, I... I think I personally would just get way too frustrated with that if I were to die due to just a stupid thing like that. Yeah. That would just that would just annoy me. Cuz yeah, you you would just die because stuff just can spawn right next to you like you enter a new tile and then suddenly you're surrounded by five dudes and as a as a mage which is obviously a ranged caster that would be pretty freaking annoying so i don't do permadeath yet we might do some permadeath runs in the future once there's more content in a little bit but not right now no 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 so mark what are you having for dinner today considering that you asked me We also need to be a bit more careful with pulling things down there, I think. Because um, these are all new locations that I've never seen before. I didn't, to be quite honest, I didn't expect to be uh, there to be that many of the goons left after the ringleader. Um, and they definitely, that's definitely something that they tell you. You really want to make sure. Ooh. Oh, is that the ether inhaler? Nice. You really want to make sure that um, you try and pull them one by one rather than all of them. You're going to order some Chinese. Ooh, but Chinese food is good too. I haven't had Chinese in such a long time. In Germany, I lived um, in a building that had a Chinese restaurant in it. Like the ground floor was just a Chinese restaurant. So I could just go there and grab food like super easily if I wanted to. Yeah, I actually haven't had Chinese food since I left Germany. Down Mars with a host. Thank you so much, Down Mars. How's it going, everybody? Hello. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie patootie. How are you doing today? <laughs> but Mars <laughs> nice how's it going how are your runs how did you fare today oh 
there's the ringleader and of course it's raining again oh no what are you doing thank you so much for the thank you so much for the gift up for that moss and thank you for sharing emotes with chat i appreciate it thank you i hope you're doing well that moss it is a very good to see you all right there we go let's do that and then pew 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 and move and move and move and oh you're on fire too see now that's rude un defiant stuff nice okay you're exp okay you're investigating i'm just gonna go up here uh you dropped a new number of subs from peach yesterday <laughs> Aw, thank you mark and yes i heard i was informed about the craziness that occurred yesterday uh from yesterday to the hotfix mace you said because she was a cute mace girl and you had six or a dual dagger on today that ended because he got drunk and well she's a great sword boss oh yeah yeah see i'm not playing permadeath but yeah i lost my save file too uh from saturday um so we're running a witchy girl now um and she's actually really strong it's kind of crazy how strong she is and how well this is working so far um so yeah witchy girl for the win though i don't like these two rangers just shooting me all the time here i'm just gonna move here and i'm gonna eat and rest a little bit because apparently these ones are not gonna follow me for some reason Permessy is really strong yeah i've got the third book i don't i've learned it but i don't have uh, any any spells from it yet no we had uh, one death we just had one death um on this run just now to this camp here not this time oh second win nice go pew 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 Ooh, nice okay you're dead you're gonna cut me open sure please keep missing thank you i appreciate that so sure makes me wonder if they're going to nerf it probably probably i would assume it's probably going to be a bit of both though it's weird like i don't understand why they did the um i don't understand why they nerfed archery even more archery was was stupidly inaccurate already anyways oh great and we're drunk we're just gonna sit this one out just gonna deal with the pain there we go archery at level five plus was really strong yeah but it takes you super long to get to that level and before that like you just don't ever hit how strong are these how much do they cost eh that one's pretty good that one's rubbish it just i don't know considering how long it takes you to level up that was my biggest issue okay enemy wait a level one the edge is you always can't cast to take aim that too yeah so many arrows yeah yeah i don't know i i was i couldn't get along with archery but then i only had it like as like a secondary skill and that never really did much shoot i missed press miss click and now this is great of course using fire when it's raining yeah archery does definitely need to be primary yeah definitely um bonk wow dodge and dodge crazy nice crit there nice and then got you there i'm gonna pick that up for now wait again <laughs> But it's funny how many people actually are playing this game now. It's really, really funny. Okay, how good is that dagger? Not bad, not bad. I really wish I had an identification scroll for that um, staff, though. That'd be nice. K, 
Okay, now we need to be really careful. Yeah, this is good. This is this is what you want to do. Like you want to pull pull like, you know, one or two at the most, rather than all of them at the same time. Now people on my friends list you know have bored. It makes you think you're missing a trick. Oh no! Oh no! I mean, if you can afford it, it's they said it was gonna go up in price. So, I mean, if you really really want it, but if if it's like a question of you know eating and buying this game and stuff like that don't buy it don't do it because food is more important than playing games you don't like it Alicia? any any reason in particular just the gameplay or yeah and Karen comes out yeah i mean obviously right now it's still pretty basic there's not much to do yet yeah demison you don't think it's gonna be a big difference in price yeah but i mean even if it's just five dollars to some people that is a lot of money right so yeah you made a list yesterday of games you own that you really want to play you haven't studied yet you just got to 30 because you broke down it oh i see okay gotcha yeah yeah that's uh that's the that's the bane of uh steam sales isn't it Ooh, that spiked flail sells for a lot. It's the yeah, I think I think we can all I, at least I can relate. I have like over six hundred games on my Steam, and I'm pretty sure I haven't opened half of them yet. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So yeah, I feel you. Here comes the loot. Yes, maybe. Who knows? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, nice crit. Oh, yeah. It stopped raining. Oh, that's really good. Um, Should we hop? We should hop. And then do that. And then that. These are pretty tough. Like, these are pretty damn tough. Uh, gonna adult all right Valizia. have fun adulting hopefully you get everything done you that you want to get done and thank you so much for hanging out even if it's not necessarily your kind of game it is very much appreciated uh i will see you next time have a lovely day it's like this is how you play the game the current game is part of product version 2 because you used to figure out how to start a run yep oh thank you Valizia. that's really kind of you to say um that is that is uh not a thing that that a lot of people like i mean obviously some um how do i phrase this without insulting other people that is really kind of you to say that means a lot to streamers when people say that there we go that's a good way of phrasing it <laughs> um the first games you want is near automata and vanquish remastered both are made by platinum games mm uh maybe you should quit your job it will both remove your ability to enter see buy new games and increase your available gaming time <laughs> uh, or just just set yourself you know just just start on one like just pick um pick one day a week where you play a game that's that's you already have it right yeah I may put it because the discount the price is increasing at launch 10 bucks better than lofty goals yeah I mean you know with early access stuff is always like you get the game you get it early you you support the development and you always run into the risk of them not actually finishing it but this seems really fun and i'm enjoying playing it right now and so far i think the devs have done a pretty freaking good job of um you know patching the game quickly responding to community uh feedback and all that sort of stuff but i can totally understand this not being everybody's cup of tea for sure i can definitely understand that how much more health do you have 10 percent. okay there we go you've got 38 on it already damn 
that is that is crazy i mean especially i guess especially if you do if you do permadeath runs right um then you then you get even quote unquote more and more more out of it because if you die you're dead and you've got to start all over again yeah uh, there's a game being called Paralyzed. It's going to be a Sims like. I'm afraid it might go the way of Cube World or worse, Yog Ventures. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I, got, I gotcha. I gotcha. There, there's, I mean, there's a lot of games where they have a lot of potential, but then you never know if they're actually ever going to be, you know, made. We're almost level five. This is awesome. Okay, we only need 300 more XP. And then we get a new skill. Let's have some fun. How the heck did you see me? Okay, I'm just gonna wait here. Yes, I saw the patch. I saw the patch, which actually broke the settings menu. And then they put out a hotfix to fix the settings menu. Star oh God, Star Citizen, yeah. Not just that. I mean, there's, there's, like, there's several of the very first early access games that ever hit Steam are still not finished i mean just think about that that was like i mean like just look at daisy that's like 2012 stuff 2012 and stuff like that is not even finished yet it's if you think about it it's kind of insane uh 21 okay we can do that i don't even know that uh starforge yeah, Seven Days to Die has been around for a really long time. Ah, fuck. I misclicked. But anyways, we got him anyways, yeah. Hi, Ica. Factorio is, is one of the good ones, yes. For sure. Definitely. But there's a lot that aren't. Yeah, but okay. Kenshi is good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, same with RimWorld. RimWorld wasn't early access for years, but the way it was handled was... It just... It just basic except for like the seven months that tynan took off because he'd been working on the game basically non-stop for goodness how no how knows long um like every two to three months it had like a shit ton of new content added it was crazy also good to see you Ika. good morning why the heck are you awake yeah i mean there's 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 a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones and a lot of them are like crafting survival games that never made it out of early access hell. Yeah. Exactly, Chroma. Exactly, yeah. Guess they're not going to cash out and uh, they cash in huge again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're doing more East Coast things since you've been moving that back that way. Oh. Oh, do you have a movement moving date yet? I swear, I see. <laughs> you know what Ika? i actually talk i talk to your mom and your brother more often than i talk to you <laughs> that is such a funny thing i love it kinda Ooh, when 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 tell me more tell me more uh okay cool we did it we we beat this the outside bits uh you talk to lex more that's true yeah he always he often stops in before work that is true Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought there was going to be like a whole entire thing inside here. Turns out there wasn't. Why can I not? That was weird. I couldn't use space to loot it. Oh, no, there. No, wait, what? Oh, this is not the castle. Oh, this is not the castle, derp. This is not the castle. Wait, backpack? What? I I don't have a backpack yet. It gave you strong graveyard graveyard keeper wipes? What do you mean? Oh, backpack! Oh How do you How big is this backpack? Jesus Christ. Okay. Equip it. There we go. Okay.
oh it's like an extra oh it doesn't even like make this bigger you actually have to use it oh no uh hi yet and uh lion roar hello this game's okay in this campaign oh yeah i mean the thing is as we have said like this this is the start right of this game this game isn't isn't um nowhere near it's not supposed to be anywhere near finished that's the that's the entire thing mm. yeah it's it's not supposed to be a finished game yet it's not it literally just came out in early access they're still adding a whole bunch of things i don't need the jug go away it's interesting i i don't i don't get graveyard keeper vibes from this at all and i don't actually mind the i mean the inventory management needs work it needs more bags a lot more better bags but yeah 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 i don't think i don't think it, this is worth worth it yeah i don't think so either our cape is really strong our cape is really really strong that's for sure The more ca the caravan system yeah that sounds that sounds like a, like an idea yeah the great inventory is like diablo yeah but the thing is with diablo it's a lot uh, with diablo and games like that um or poe it's a lot easier to port back to a town where you can sell things um than in this game in this game it takes forever to port back to a town where you can sell stuff yeah uh with different as not in the beta you mean not in the game mm, i wouldn't say that because it's a different dev right it's a different developer so where the heck are we then because i went here and then here we're not in the castle i'm going to go back to the town real quick um i wouldn't i wouldn't because because that's that if you if you say that that if you quote unquote accuse the devs of this game to be lazy like the graveyard keeper get devs i think you're doing them the disservice until you wait like it is a possibility of course but i would wait and see where this goes before i accuse them of doing lazy things because i've i don't have any experience with these devs so yeah it, stuff might never get added but i don't know there shouldn't be locked features features in the beta it's not a beta though it's early access <laughs> yeah this is not a beta this is this is early access this game is going to be in development for like two years i i would assume it's uh maybe titled incorrectly maybe it should be called a beta but that's a different discussion yes but that might be that might be um just a misnamer you know i wouldn't necessarily say that this is intended to be that because it's early access hi Mwah. you're really cold hi lex well, the difference between a beta and alpha is i don't know it, i think i don't i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't go and call that a problem i don't think that's gonna be a problem because yeah they as i said they said it's gonna oh shoot i'm bleeding uh it's gonna be in development for another one to two years um yeah i yeah exactly yeah I agree, Lilo. I, the, the game has potential. Uh, also, hello, Lilo. The the game definitely has potential. Obviously, I don't know if it's actually going to be finished ever. I don't know, cause yeah, I've I've not, I've no experience with the devs. Whatever can happen. You don't trust me enough to put too much credit into things anymore. <laughs> so. Yeah, but isn't that on you rather than on the devs? I mean, I get it, right? Obviously, we've all been burnt by early access games, but that's the problem with early access. It is a two-edged sword, yeah. 
it is indeed a two-edged sword it is and everybody for has to decide for themselves whether or not it's worth it to take the risk <laughs> ea is also a two-edged sword <laughs> of course um but i don't know i'm, I'm so far i'm, I'm willing to give the, I'm, I'm willing to, to you know to you know give them the benefit of the doubt for now obviously that can change it depends on how they're you know gonna treat everybody and everything yeah uh it needs a lot of work it does need a lot of work yeah but then i mean it came out like what four days ago in early access and hey uh i i give i give companies a big up that provide a free demo of their game which in my opinion not enough games do and they did that so that already gives them a good um that that gives that gives me a good vibe i don't know is it just it's just a label though <laughs> the cat is doing stuff yes the cat is not just lying around but that's because lex came home so there's excitement um Maybe I'm looking at you, space, space, DF9. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. There's a table that already called stuff and it does the inventory weight in an interesting way. Basically, each item has a size stat, like a sniper rifle, and you can hold up to three items. Ah, I see, I see. It means things. Eh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, I don't think you have to put like this too much of a, a thing. And the thing is, you can also you can't you can't just i mean you can you can do like beta 0 0.57 0 0.8 0 0.9 point whatever right before you go into 0 0.6 so i don't know yeah but it's pay picture move it's not a picture though look there's a hand Woo! hand Woo! hand and cats <laughs> yeah i don't know as pages are feature complete yeah i don't know though is it uh, i don't know i i i understand what your what your position is i'm just thinking for me right now that's not such big of a deal get out of my way <laughs> i'm i'm cautiously optimistic let's say it that way i am cautiously optimistic but i can understand getting burned by other early access games and being not cautiously optimistic <laughs> yeah you accept cautiously optimistic because i like the ideas and so far i like as i said i like that they put out a free prologue for people to try which is cool because you can play that and that gives you I, and I think the prologue gives you a pretty good idea on how like the game you know plays and and how you have to handle things and whatnot but uh what will i sell you absolutely nothing actually yeah i won't sell you anything um but obviously we have to wait and see where it goes because they could as you said they could abandon it i could abandon it right now i want to promote blade banner lord it feels crazy that that is gonna be an early access to me personally mountain blade it feels like that should just come out now oh you're broke ah oh, damn it yeah i go to burn games if i trust future promises if i like what i like currently if not then i wait yeah you're looking forward to it uh. yeah i don't know like <laughs> my problem with banner lord is that it has been they've been working on it for so long and then it's not even releasing it's just coming out in early access that's my problem with it <laughs> wizard staff that when they were honest to what you can see playing the game on the store page yeah extra extra yeah two village small map yep and as i said you can i it goes a long way for me personally if you can actually try a game nowadays and see for free that is without even like without using um the um you know the stuff that that steam lets you do where you can just refund it within two hours but just you can just test it for free yeah 
So that reason just before the core game is out. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's Ar that's just how that's arc steady healer stuff. No, no, you're not very good, are you? Uh, healing stuff three, bandages three, two splints. We've got food. We've got these. I could have used oh, I could have used the vivifying essence in the fight as well. Um, just realizing, but no, we sell, we sell those two things. Oh yeah, we also have this um do i want to sell you anything of those i'm gonna take this out i'm gonna i'm gonna put the backpack in the in the in the inn uh and case has also really and case has released dlc uh or you're dumb you're like you you buy it play it one or two years later no refundability did you do that with arc really really and case released dlc how did i miss that how did I miss that? It's only cosmetic, but it worries you. Uh, oh, okay. I mean... Oh, it I don't know. It depends how much it is. It depend For me, that depends on how much it is. Because, um... Atom RPG also released DLC, cosmetic DLC, in the... While they were still in early access and working on the game, um... But what they called it was literally Atom Supporter Pack, which is just a, you know, a supporter thing. Um, if you wanted to give them a bit more money because you enjoyed the game so far. Um. Ah, okay. Portrait Pack, Run and Gun Kit, and Soundtrack. What's the Run and Gun Kit? Okay, that's weird. Unique boost and an exclusive energy pistol. Okay, that is weird. I mean, I, I, uh, to be fair, I've played in case on my YouTube channel. I did it when that first came out in early access. I got that key for free. But yeah, that, yeah, okay. That, that's, I have, uh, that worries me too. Especially if they're already releasing, like, um, stuff that's supposed to make you, like, be better in the game. That's, that is indeed a bit worrying. Oh, they should wait. No, that's you, the apprentice. What about you? But Atom RPG is fantastic. If, if anybody wants a freaking Fallout 1 or 2, um, experience by Atom RPG. Buy it now. It's fantastic. It's super great. I love that game. You haven't bought it? I got Encase for free, but that is, that is worrying indeed. Especially because they're, um, they're, uh, otherwise like th their production release has been pretty slow otherwise yeah it's troubleshooter oh it's early access they have dates for a patch have about 160 hours what is what kind of game is troubleshooter lilo You're okay with old school mechanics and high difficulty yes though to be fair to be fair um at some rpg actually um they have uh introduced a tutorial now as well that totes totes just started atom rpg again after playing it in early access and he actually said that the tutorial is pretty good so one two three up three and then to the left fell seal yeah uh some dlc is a way to give extra support yeah that was the atom supporter pack you got you got one extra location. You got one extra searchable location and you gave them some extra support if you wanted to buy that. Uh, it's a bit like XCOM. Oh, well, I do like turn-based. Oh, I'll have a look-see at that. Thank you. Even though I suck at XCOM, but I do like that. Um, Felsi. What kind of game is Felsiel, uh, Lund? I know you've been um, achievement hunting. Mm -hmm. surviving the aftermath just had their uh, fourth content update mm -hmm. yes oh my god general cares i'm looking that that remastered i'm looking forward to that a lot yep i still need to play because part of what i do on my youtube channel is is I mean, what also stuff that we stream, totally other random games, and then also CRPGs. 
because we did play through all of atom rpg on that um as well um i'm looking really looking forward to wasteland um just a remastered of one i'd love to do one then two then three on the youtube channel but i don't think i can get through one and two by the time three uh, like in, in in time for a release of three <laughs> even though that would be amazing but i don't think i can uh thank you timberwolf but yeah mm, it feels like final fantasy tactics oh i see i see i see i see oh i need to eat uh i should eat how bad is my hunger 26. Mm, cheese ambush uh also interesting yes monster sanctuary is fantastic um they're also doing early access really well also still early access but they are also doing uh very regular content updates uh very often uh, i enjoy that a lot monster sanctuary is like pokemon meets metroidvania pretty good uh Hi, Eschatomizer. I would say so. But obviously, you always have to keep in mind um, the game could potentially never be finished. But for me so far, I, I would say it's worth it. For me personally, I've played like 16 hours so far. We haven't quite seen everything that's in the game yet. So, yeah. And you can get it for 10% off now and an additional 15% if you've got Darkest Dungeon by any chance uh kinseed kinseed i've had for a very very long time they've been pretty slow with updates but kinseed looks 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 awesome i actually bought that when it was only available through humble but they've been taking their they've been taking their sweet sweet time i bought that before i got partnered on twitch <laughs> yeah howdy partner howdy flying bolts how's it going they are working on it yes they are but it's been taking a while <laughs> in your head, oh in your that head, must got it today nice i don't remember either cute compare nope uh hey kalazam funny someone that's playing this game outside of the town yes we are lilo thank you so much for the follow appreciate it we are doing a mage Take fire run we're actually down here in manshire and we're literally ready to do the last quest that's available right now 